everyone and welcome to Sketch It Out Thursday here at the Crafty Maven. You're seeing here the um, products I've chosen from my stash to go with our mood board this week which is lots and lots and lots of white and lace and ballerinas and, and things like that. So we're going to do a layout that's pretty simple and just um, easy but lots and lots of cute, cute little details. So the first thing I'm going to do is I went into my Silhouette Cameo and I used my silver sketch pen to draw all of these little bows and then I used um, a pin to do some holes and now I'm going to hand stitch all of those bows. Of course I'm not going to make you watch me do all that. So these bows took me oh a while, hand stitching always takes a while. So what I'm going to do is, if you saw my sketch at the beginning of this video, you know that it's really simple. So since there was so little, um, co so little um, color in the mood board, I wanted to keep things pretty simple. So the only real color that I'm going to add to this layout is going to be um, a little bit of inking from Peacock Feathers Distressed Ink and this little bit of aqua color from this Paige Evans paper. I'm not quite sure which one of her collections it's from. I want to say it's Take Me Away, um, but I might be wrong on that. So I'm going to use that aqua paper directly behind my photo to kind of draw attention to the photo so that your eye will definitely go there and it will definitely be like the main focus of this page. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this branding strip, which was the branding strip from my background paper, and I'm going to take some vellum and that lace ribbon that is from Freckled Fawn, and I'm going to use those elements to create some torn, messy layers behind my photo. So here I have my uh, pattern paper, I have the piece of adhesive ribbon from Freckled Fawn, and I also have uh, just one of those pieces of the branding strip, and I'm taking an entire sheet of vellum. So I took the whole sheet of vellum and you'll see me here. All I did was I put the picture on, tore around it, put the picture on another part of the vellum, tore around it, put a picture on another part of the vellum, tore around it until I had lots and lots of these soft messy layers behind my photo. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an X-Acto knife and I'm going to cut one of those little um, ribbons from the bow at the top to place over my to place over my um, picture and it's going to take me just a little bit of time because the threads behind this part of the bow are um, have washi on them so you're going to see like a little bit of yellow washi stick out I'm going to have to put it back in and mess around with the with the stitching on the back of my layout but in the end, after moving some of those threads around, I was able to get the photo right there under the bow exactly where I want it. So the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take some of this washi. This is washi from Felicity Jane. It's a white stripe. And just to add a little bit more tone on tone interest to these layers, I'm just going to take a couple strips of this washi and put it up behind some of the vellum layers just to just to add a little bit more of that kind of white on white look. You can see it but it's it's very very subtle. The last thing I'm going to work on for this layout, well no not the last thing but the next thing I guess is going to be my title and I had a little bit of a hard time coming up with something because I kept coming up with like funny things to say like bottoms up and different things like that because it's just a picture of this adorable little outfit my niece was wearing and she had ruffles on her bottom and they were so so cute and all of her little chubby baby rolls so ultimately my title is going to be ruffle bottom and I'm going to use these thick and thin white foam letters from Amy Tangerine which I absolutely love oh I love them but I'm almost out of them so you'll see me kind of like piece together an L and an E to finish my title and then I'm going to take some um, October afternoon uh, tile letters and I'm going to use that to create my title so after fidgeting with these letters for what seemed like forever uh, I finally got them so you could read what it said 
and it was coherent. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I really, really want some white splatters on this layout. Um, but when it comes to white splatters, I only know of one good way to get them. And that is to get Liquitex heavy body acrylic paint, water it down, and then use that to splatter with. Um, I have, do not have any success. I have not, now I haven't tried every white mist or spray ink that's on the market, um, but the ones I have tried, they just wanna soak in. They don't sit on top of the paper and you can't even see them. So that happens to me quite a bit. I've tried quite a number of different um, inks and oh, I should have covered my photo, but it was okay. It came right off and then I remembered, oh yeah, better cover the photo. Uh, so this is how I do white splatters. Um, my latest one that I tried was the Dilutions and it was in a video actually not coming up maybe, um, but it, it does the same thing. It just kind of soaks in, so I don't know. The only sad part about these white splatters with the white acrylic paint is that the white paint goes everywhere. I had it on my forehead, I had it on my eyelid, I had it on my nose. <laughs> it goes everywhere, but it creates these lovely, lovely white splatters, which I really do love. And as a last little bit of sparkle to this layout, I pulled out my Close to My Heart Bitty Sparkles. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to place them all over this layout. I love these. They just add just the littlest bit of sparkle to a layout. And there we have our layout for today's Sketch It Out Thursday with the beautiful hand-stitched bows and all of the little um, sparkles and layers. I love the layers on this layout and I love the bows. And so I hope you enjoyed this layout as well. Please uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Play along with the sketch and have a wonderful day. Bye!